Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Uncrewed. Heavy breathing, DJI creates film of Everest with off-the-shelf Mavic 3 drone. Drone company to attempt 3,500 kilometer plus remote control flight. And Textron awarded contract for shipboard aerosond operation. And I'm your host, Holland Lee. Welcome to the Aero News Network's Airborne Uncrewed program, a weekly news program covering all things uncrewed. Let's get into today's stories. Heavy breathing, DJI creates film of Everest with off-the-shelf Mavic 3 drone. DJI pushed its new Mavic 3 drone to the limits for some impressive footage in conjunction with Chinese photography platform 8K RAW. The expedition saw a bone stock Mavic 3 come along for the ride before taking flight to record the mountain from a point of view rarely seen. 8K RAW lended their expertise real-world photography, working with DJI to develop a flight plan that would sufficiently account for a range of performance detriments experienced in the frigid, thin air over the mountain. With rapidly depleting batteries and wheezing props, the little Mavic wound its way up to 9,232 meters to capture a top-down, sunny summer view over the summit with its built-in Hasselblad camera. The stunt is a definite feather in the cap for the little drone, granting the Mavic 3 some cachet as a serious performer. The end result is the short film Flying Over Everest, jointly produced by the two companies after months of editing and composition. The short features numerous aerial shots that show off the full capabilities of the inbuilt professional-grade camera from the summit, providing plenty of sweeping visuals with no shortage of stunning detail. And after the break, Shebel demonstrates Camcopter S100. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit FlySkyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Whether you're charting a steady course or pushing for the ceiling, Hartzell Propeller has been elevating flight for over 100 years. It's in our passion for engineering and research. It's in our dedication to testing the limits of performance and creating propellers that are as safe as they are sexy. Now, together with our dedicated family of companies, we're propelling the future of aviation. We are Hartzell Propeller, built on honor. Welcome back. In the next Uncrewed Minute, let's take a look at some shorter stories making the rounds of the Uncrewed vehicle communities. Shebel demonstrates Camcopter S100. Shebel and Thales recently demonstrated their ASW ISR equipped Camcopter S100 at Dynamic Messenger 2022 in Portugal. The demonstrations were undertaken as a part of a larger NATO exercise showcasing the latest and greatest in uncrewed defense systems with a particular focus on real-world efficacy and application. Shebel approached the issue with a slightly different bend, showing off their camcopter's anti-submarine capabilities instead of the usual routine focusing on UAS ISR performance. Joby applies for Japanese aircraft certification. Joby Aviation has announced their application to the Japanese Civil Aviation Bureau for the validation of an FAA-type certification for their electric VTOL aircraft. The move comes right after U.S. regulators confirmed a streamlined approval process for U.S. applicants to validate their designs in Japan. The move sets up the company to hit the ground running with their future launch of an aerial ride-sharing service using its five-seat, piloted, multi-rotor fixed-wing aircraft. Type certification will need to be completed at home before translating to Japanese approval. Archer Aviation to unveil Aircraft Midnight in November event Archer Aviation announced an open house event for this November, promising to show off Midnight, their first production aircraft. The unveiling will allow visitors and press to see its features, specs, and capabilities. Midnight was announced last August following the completion of the aircraft's preliminary design review. 
Midnight specifics remain under wraps, but some of the most important aspects, seating for four passengers and one pilot, more than 1,000 pounds of payload, and a turnaround time of 10 minutes between flights have been released ahead of the open house. Update. Command to create USMC version of upcoming cargo UAV. Command Air Vehicles has announced their selection to create an uncrewed logistics aircraft for the United States Marine Corps. The aircraft will be a modified variant of the Command Cargo UAV, a purpose-built autonomous medium-lift logistics vehicle. The cargo, a quadrotor VTOL, is slated to carry up to 800 pounds of payload for more than 500 nautical miles with ease. In line with its military-ready bona fides, the cargo system is designed to happily operate out of the most austere environments. Well, that was our Uncrewed Minute. Now back to the rest of the news. Drone company attempts 3,500-kilometer-plus remote control flight. Latvian telecom company LMT has joined hands with European drone framework Comp4 Drones to push the limits and validate the feasibility of long-distance UAS control. The test will see LMT attempt to pilot a drone in Latvia from a Spanish terminal 3,500 kilometers away. The demo will be slightly different from the usual BV loss affair by virtue of its reliance upon a mobile network as its primary communication channel. Cross-country control and piloting will be transmitted by the mobile network along the way, while network coverage forecasting and remote route validation will utilize airborne RF. The demo is designed to test remote drone flights in areas where network coverage has not been previously measured with on-site indexes, instead using fully remote network forecasts. If successful, the system can prove the utility of cellular networks for network UAV systems, allowing much easier deployment without the usual need to deploy on-the-ground personnel within immediate transmission range. And after these messages, Textron awarded contract for shipboard aerosond operation. Are you ready to ace your FAA drone pilot knowledge test, get your remote pilot certificate, and start earning money? Well, flying a drone is a great tool that can open up new business opportunities for anyone. Realtor, insurance adjuster, videographer, or commercial weekend drone warrior, you need to fly legally. Whether you're pursuing your initial Part 107 remote pilot certificate or you need a renewal, King Schools has a course just for you. So start learning today at kingschools.com. Throughout the globe, Piper Aircraft has hand-selected the very best in company representation, service, and support. From first inquiry to acquisition to product support, Piper Aircraft ownership is seamless and worry-free. Piper Aircraft authorized dealers, factory trained, factory connected. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at aviationsafetyresources.com. Welcome back. Textron awarded contract for shipboard aerosond operation. Textron Systems has been awarded a contract from the U.S. Navy's Naval Air Systems Command for the provision of uncrewed aircraft operational support to the USS Miguel Keith. The contract begins in 2023 with a total performance period of five years. The Aerosond UAS system will now be in use on four Navy vessels following a four-year extension on an existing award to the USS Herschel Woody Williams ESB-5 and two additional DDG-class ships. The contract is valued up to $22 million overall and will see Textron Systems deploy the Aerosond UAS to, quote, provide extended range intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance services with enhanced mission payloads aboard the ESB-5, end quote. The company will station its field service representatives on board the ship in order to work alongside the sailors in support of a variety of maritime missions. The Aerosond has accumulated more than 585,000 flight hours while serving multiple U.S. and international allies, designed for expeditionary land and sea operations, austere environments, and more. The system can be configured with multiple payloads to meet a range of operational necessities, allowing the Aerosond to earn its keep aboard the ship as a one-drone fits most for most occasions. 
And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.